exercise is emphasizing the components of a still life, or actually everything, any kind of a, a painting, arrangement, landscape, whatever, breaks down into different components. And I'm emphasizing um, four aspects. Uh, color, and I have these two also up here, the same idea. Color, and I just took some grapes from my head, but or actually reality too. So you take one, one element that you would like to just explore color. Um, shape uh, from the center out and combining everything, the theme. So this would be here, grapes, grapes, uh, grapes shape, where you just actually take grapes and totally play with them, you know, as though your painting was totally abstract, but you were t spinning off of grapes or apricots or artichokes, you just, any, any part, any factor. <clears throat> and then from the center out, where you really concentrate on working from the center, maybe picking up your color that you have started with, and letting it spread, uh, at which point you also are spreading into shape, gestural shapes. The third thing, the fourth thing, is put them all together and you can either go crazy and construct a, an imaginary theme narrative or you can just take the centered thing that you have in front of you and um, explore it in all its ramifications, remembering color, shape, center out. Um, you do not have to do any of this, too. This is just my my New Year's uh, thing to to make point of thinking about the components, and then you can read the whole thing. I won't read it all, but uh, in a sense, the the most important one, if, if you do nothing except one, or do nothing at all, um, is color. See how much you can just lose yourself in the color. That for so for that reason, pick pick anything that you think would be fun to play with the color and, and, and let yourself go so that as you add to it, um, you keep uh, just doing something, maybe pushing it a little farther and saying, okay, I'm working with green, for instance. Uh, but green has uh, elements of other things. These grapes that look pretty nothing, um, they, they have yellows, they have browns, you might see blues, you, you might see anything. And you might not really see it, but you might want to push it that way. And, and so I'm trying to encourage getting color with color. Lots, you know, sometimes lots of color. And you can go crazier than I did. I mean, you can do whatever, whatever you want. And so, and the other thing is to remind yourself with this color thing is Painting with water, um, that where you come come back. Uh, say you have a a lovely grape, and maybe you put a, um, a yellow down. Maybe drop some green in. Maybe drop some blue in. And then you think, now, how do I get that to have uh, some meaningful greatness to it? So let, your, let the water do something. Push the water in there or around. Do the work. Let the water do the work. And as you let it um, blend, play, uh, this, by the way, is, um, I decided, some Fabriano watercolor card that make postcards, as you, I'm sure, know. Yeah. Um, then think. So this is the, this is the Zen part. This is the uh, let yourself go, go with the literally flow. As you watch that percolating, mixing, having a little fun with itself, um, say, how do I take this to the next level of what I want to what I want to say with the color? 
I put another bit of a different green. Um, and then I'm pushing with some water. And this brings to mind something that I've read on the watercolor magazine. I think it was a uh, watercolor artist. Yeah. That this woman, uh, this painter, she um, wets the thing, drops all kinds of colors, mm -hmm. drops them actually, literally drop them. Pollock. And yeah. then she wets it again on top, and then with her fingers she goes around. Well, fine. The color. Yeah? Fine. Not a bad no, thought. No, no, she goes you with her finger, you could. pushing the color. Did you try it? Yeah, but it's it's so <laughs> messy. It's, it's messy. It just, it's brown. It up a little bit. Yeah. <laughs> you thought you were doing watercolor because it was a neater thing, but and <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, one thing about doing finger stuff. I mean, actually, doing finger things, trying to get texture with hands or, or, or tissues them. or anything, yeah. is is splendid. But every time you do something with a finger or tissue or something, you also are forcing the pigment into the hollows, which is fine sometimes. It may be just what you want. But if you want to um, see, you already are getting a, 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 you know, where I did that, a little bit of a flatter thing. So I, I'm going to put some back. A little bit. But I think she most pushes it very gently. It's like yeah. she doesn't push down, but <laughs> sideways. Um, now, when you do this, uh, you can see how sloppily I've done it. Um, you have to use a lot of, give it a lot of time. That's the other thing. That's that's your Zen part for the first few minutes of the day, is because it keeps changing. And depending again, the other thing to be watching for here is I mean, watercolor paper. Is what this is a very textured Fabriano. You know, uh, this that I used is uh, Arches hot press, and is a totally different right story so um and with painting with water you can come back if you want pull anything out um, so i'm just gonna let that work a little um and say one thing about color uh which is sergeant um i saw the, the sergeant show again. I've, I've seen it in Brooklyn and I saw it again in uh, Boston. But anyway, um, but color. Uh, this painting struck, uh, I mean, uh, some of the paintings really struck me anew. Um, and this was one, which is big, 10 and a half by 14. Um, this is a riot of color. Um, these horses that, um, think of that, uh, you know, in thinking of color, try to push yourself um, to using color that's either that's informative or, you know, somehow that blue that he puts on the butt of the horse tells you so much. It, it's making him dark. Uh, not, blue, not he's not making him a blue horse. I mean, I don't think anyone looks at that and says, "So what's this blue horse?" It's making him, in a sense, black or a very dark. Mm -hmm. But yet he's not making it dark. So that is information that is fascinating. It's the kind of thing you might get in skin tone, and um, some of you who have done figure, a lot of figure, um, you'll, you'll sometimes find these colors in skin tone, or you push it, push it, push it. Uh, this too was uh, a, a wonderful one to look at again, partly because I was with my nephew, who's a park ranger and a firefighter in oh. the West, and he, had just shown us all these some of these videos from some control burn fires. <clears throat> it was just like that. It was extraordinary, you know. And the the way the tiny bit of color that conveys. So that's what color is. Information. It is telling you, your viewer, um, how much uh, you know. Much more than just saying, okay, I have green grapes. Green avocado artichoke, whoever they are. Um, I I, that's done already. So it's done. Some things already. I'm going to put a bit more of this, a, a little unifying uh, uh, green to make it to get that information again.
and then I'll just leave it for the day. And it will make something the most beautiful great. <laughs> um, so see if you can lose yourself at least in this, this part of it. And if you want to just skip through all of this, just go right ahead um, and at least think about some of these things.